So one of the things that, you know, comes up for me is when people come to see me, usually anxiety is present or judgment or, um, you know, lack of abundance, just different things are coming up. And so when you start to have that relationship with your body, it's just a message that something needs to be changed, shifted, healed. Um, so when you start working with your five senses, a lot of times those symptoms will also go down mm. as well. Well, that's reassuring to hear, especially if people are willing to start here with the five senses and say, oh, that feels doable, not too intimidating to start. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So one of the tools that I always give people in this stage of work is just to Google um, five, four, three, two, one with the senses. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of practitioners use this and know this, but basically the idea is I always start with sight because it's our easiest, but you can look around the room and just in your head, you don't have to say it out loud or you can, but you identify five things you can see. And usually I try to make it things with different textures or colors. Mm -hmm. And so that's the beginning of starting to ground yourself. And then you'll just walk through all five senses usually people um, like taste might be the one, the last one as you move through. So like five things you can see, three things or four things you can hear, three things you can smell, two things you can touch, one thing you can taste. Right. Um, so sometimes that'll take some like chapstick or lip gloss or, or just be like, I taste my mouth. <laughs> <I've never laughs> or my it. drink or whatever. No, yeah. I love this. And actually our viewers who have read our book, I call it adult I spy in the book, but it is the five, four, three, two, one. And it's just such a beautiful, simple concept to ground someone in the moment instead of getting, you know, stuck in their head. 